Have you ever wanted to capture your cell phone screen and place it inside of OBS Studio? Well, that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do in this video. So what that means is you're going to be able to screen mirror your iPhone using the normal iPhone software, the normal iOS functionality, no jailbreaking or anything like that, and place it inside of OBS Studio. So you'll be able to manipulate your phone as a source inside of OBS Studio. Brilliant, right? I'm sure you'll agree. Well, you've not even heard the best of it yet. The software that you're going to be installing is completely free to use. It's really well established. It's got some great resolutions and frame rates that you can work with. There's no jailbreaking required on the phone. Also, this works utterly smooth. It's really, really good. So if you're a mobile phone streamer, you're going to find this super, super useful and it only takes a couple of minutes to set up. If you find this useful, hit the like button, feel free to subscribe to the channel and let's go. First up, a quick word from my sponsors. Owned.pro was a plugin specifically for OBS Studio. You literally install this and from there, you can install one-click overlays from Owned.pro. You can install alerts from Owned Pro. It's a really, really good tool. I've tried this out myself. I absolutely love it myself and I'm sure you'll like it too. And the best part is if you use Code Machine at checkout when you take out a pro subscription with Owned Pro, you'll get 50% off the subscription cost. You'll also be supporting the channel, so that's a thanks from me, and hopefully you enjoy it. Check out own.pro and let me know how you get on. Okay, so just to be really, really clear here, this video is not applicable to Android phone users. I will do a separate version of this for Android because it uses some slightly different software. This is purely for Apple iPhone users who want to be able to capture their phone screen inside of desktop OBS Studio. Also, to be clear, we're not streaming from the phone here. There is a separate video I've got, I'll link it above, where you can stream from your phone and bypass your PC directly to Twitch. That's not what this video is about. We're gonna place this screen inside of OBS Studio. So Capturing your cell phone screen into OBS Studio is actually quite easy to do. It only takes a couple of minutes to set up. Here, what we need to do is trick the computer into thinking that it's an Apple or an iOS device so that the phone's existing functionality for screen mirroring can detect the PC. And it means this will then be able to show within the PC. And then all we need to do is add it into OBS Studio as a source and manipulate it the normal way that you would with any other screen capture within OBS Studio. So we're gonna use 3u.com here. I'll link it below, but I'm sure you can remember 3u.com. We, we need to go to the download button here. This will have a download for us. We want to keep this. It takes a couple of seconds to just do the download here. If you've got pretty good internet, 120 megabytes. Now, if you're watching this video and you think, great, I now know what website to use. I'll switch off the video and I'll just be able to do this. You're wrong. You really want to watch the rest of this video because there's some other stuff you need to do inside the software to enable this to work inside of your phone and OBS Studio. So we're going to click this to install it. We're going to click install. This will take just a couple of seconds to install to the default location here. And now we're going to hit launch. Now I've noticed that they have this install iTunes or Apple driver to connect iDevice. Don't worry about this. I found that my phone was fine without doing this. So I just clicked off that after a couple of seconds and that was absolutely fine. Now the thing to just note here is this will only work if you've got an iPhone that is compatible with the screen mirroring. I don't know if some of the older versions of iOS, most of the newest iPhones should have this functionality. To be honest, you really don't want to be on a super, super old version of iOS. That's just not great practice so make sure you update to the latest version of ios on your mobile phone first so we've got this software installed now what i'm going to do here is click on the toolbox section and we now need to install this common tool 3u air player so i'm going to click this to install it and there we go we've already got this installed here and now we've got access to it this has got loads of different tools inside it and today i'm going to be covering the airplay functionality and we can see already here it's covering microphone environmental sounds and all kinds of other things including publishing directly to a stream the mobile phone feed itself so you can actually do that if you want just have a mobile phone feed using the stream url and the key i'm not going to be covering that today i'm going to be covering adding this as a source inside of obs studio so now that we've got the software installed on the pc itself to detect the screen mirroring in your iphone we now need to green mirror using the iPhone. There's no extra software that's needed here. We simply just need to pull down from the top, go to the screen mirroring function here. It should detect the 3U player air player here. We just now need to select that 
it may take a couple of seconds to connect. Now, just to be clear here, you also need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. Your phone needs to be connected to the Wi-Fi for that to work. Now, at this point, because I was recording on the mobile phone itself, it wouldn't let me screen mirror from the mobile to the 3U player here. So I had to stop recording on my mobile phone. You cannot record your phone screen and also send that through screen mirroring. That's just not something that Apple allow. So I've stopped recording and I was able to connect properly to this. You can see here now this is screen mirroring perfectly. You can see it's really, really responsive. As I move along, it's real time. It's almost like instantaneous, probably less than a quarter of a second. And just to prove that this works, I've done a search for my profile on Twitch. Follow on the link below if you want to follow me on Twitch. And straight away, we can see it's working perfectly inside of the software. We're going to add it to OBS Studio, but I'm just doing a little bit of testing here to make sure I'm happy with how this looks. What you should now find, providing you've got the sounds all turned on here and the sound turned on in the software, you should find that any sounds that come from your phone should also be included now within this software, which means when it's captured inside of OBS Studio, it will also capture the sound from the mobile phone. You can test this though. You can go into your PC, put your headphones on and do something that is noisy on your phone. For example, watch one of my past broadcasts. We've got a little bit of, um, I'm hoping we can I can hear the sound on my PC here, and that is coming from my mobile phone. So I know that the sound is now working. Now, one of the things to notice about this briefly is different applications behave differently with inside your iPhone device. So certain applications will work really well for this, and certain applications may not work as well. Most of the games I tried, and most of the applications I tried, worked really, really well here. It's only really when you had to change the orientation that it didn't work as well. So I would recommend potentially setting up two versions of this inside of OBS Studio, one that's portrait and one that is landscape. But I'm sure you can figure that out for yourselves. This is not a full OBS Studio tutorial. So now at this part, I'm pretty happy that the sound and the display is being captured to my PC. But how do we get this inside of OBS Studio? Well, first of all, I'm going to minimize that website. I'm going to maximize the screen sharing here. And I'm also just going to go into the settings and look at the frames. Now I want 60 frames, but you can do whatever you want here. And I want to change the resolution. I'm going to maximize my resolution here because I know I can change the resolution inside of OBS Studio and do some cropping work and stuff like that. So I'm going to hit OK there. I'm going to hit Save. It will not update that. You've got to close the application down come out of both applications. I would recommend at this point also closing it from the tray here. Both applications should be closed in the tray there. Go back inside the toolbox, go back inside of 3U Air program. And now at this point, we need to reconnect the phone. So again, pull down from the top, select the screen mirroring and select the screen mirror into that device. You can see that's successfully connected. Now at this point, I'm going to use this button in the bottom right hand corner to maximize this to the screen. Now this is one of the limitations here. If you minimize this, it may not work. So I would recommend maximizing this to full screen size. We can still see this is working perfectly on the phone. And now we need to open up OBS Studio whilst we've got that running in the background. So what we need to do is go inside the desired scene that you want to add the mobile phone as a source. And we'll click the plus icon here on the sources. And we want to capture a window here. So I'm going to go on window capture. We can give this a name if we want, i.e. we can call it iPhone and click OK. Now at this point, it's actually automatically detected the screen that we want to capture. But if it hasn't done that, you just want to go to the drop down here and select the 3U Air Player and it will capture it in full screen size like this. Don't worry if the resolution at this point isn't correct or the cropping isn't correct. We can sort all of that out. So click OK on this. Now at this point, I'm not happy with the resolution, so I'm just going to downsize this to be more closely matched to the canvas size. And if I hold out on the keyboard whilst I resize these si sides here, I can crop this down so it's just the mobile phone. Now, at this point, I can manipulate this anywhere on screen, and I can also resize it to be wherever I want. And I could even put a PNG image of a mobile phone over the top of it with the middle bit blocked out so that it's transparent with an alpha layer, which means this would look really nice. I will link a picture of that iPhone PNG file below so that you can also use that same file. To do that, we're just going to click the plus icon. We're going to add an image, iPhone PNG, click OK. Here we can see we've got transparency either side, but we've got the outline of the mobile phone. So I'm now just going to resize this and place it over the top of that mobile phone, taking care to make sure that the image is above the window capture, which means the border will be above the mobile phone. Now, there are various tools you can use to mask out the very corners of the capture here, like a mask filter or even rounded corners or something like that. So there's a few different plugins you can use. So in essence, we now have a fully nice looking capture of our 
our iPhone inside of OBS Studio, and this works perfectly, as you can see. And your broadcast, I'm sure, are going to like this. We can see the resolution's good, the frame rate's good, the connectivity's good, and also the quality of it overall is really nice too. Now all that's left is to find a cool game on mobile to actually play and stream to your viewers on Twitch. I do recommend this game and I will link it in the description because it's really fun and great for when you're on the toilet. <laughs> A couple of troubleshooting things here just to cover. First of all, the Wi-Fi, your phone device and your PC device need to be connected wirelessly to the same network. Now, as it happens, my PC is connected via Ethernet and my phone is connected to the same network. So that's working absolutely perfectly. So you should find that the Ethernet cable will make no difference if you are on a wired connection, as long as it's the same internet that is being connected to. If you're connected to two different internets, this simply will not work. iPhone version, you just need to make sure that the iPhone itself is compatible with screen mirroring because that is the function that's used natively from the iPhone with software. If your iPhone doesn't have screen mirroring capability, this simply will not work with the software I'm recommending. A quick note that everything I've shown today has been for iPhone, not for Android. So I will do a follow-up with Android at a later stage. A few notes about phone orientation when you're capturing your cell phone to OBS Studio here. Sometimes when you change the orientation, it will still capture the screen. It might just take a second or two to refresh it Itself. The thing is, because the source inside of OBS Studio is locked to however you place it, you may find that the orientation inside of OBS Studio will not fit if you change the orientation of your phone. This is why I recommend setting up two versions of this, one that's portrait, and one that's landscape, and then maybe you just program two different scenes to switch to, perhaps by using a stream deck or something like that. And finally, just window settings. There's every chance that some of the window settings that you have will not cater for this, but if you troubleshoot some of the window settings themselves to allow projecting and stuff like that you should be able to get this to work however the software that i've recommended have quite a lot of troubleshooting available already which i'll try and link to in the description below as well so there you have it that was capturing your iphone inside of obs studio hopefully you found it useful nice and easy if you did don't forget to hit like don't forget to subscribe and see you later Bye.